to think that I'm decently musical, you know. I, I, can, I can whistle a tune and I, I, can, I can predict uh, things coming along in, in, in jazz numbers to which I'm dancing, even when I've never heard that number before. I recognise some, some clues at a subconscious level, usually, uh, in the music and that I, I, can, I can predict when the big hit or big pause or, or, or change of, of rhythm or, or feel or something is coming along because it just seems right. Okay, so um, here I am, decently musical, quite like my jazz, um, and yet I don't play any instrument properly. I can tinker on several instruments, but I can't really play anything properly, unless you count drums, but no, you don't count drums. So, um, why is this? Well, I can tell you. All right, well, I can tell you one version, which is that all my musical instrument teachers, when I was a kid, were rubbish. I mean, just rubbish. I got the impression that some of them saw it as their, their, their principal mission to uh, dissuade me from uh, the pursuit of learning whatever instrument it was uh, in order to save them the bother of having to teach me. They just wanted me to give up. How can I make this kid give up? Well, what they all did was make it phenomenally boring. Um, you see, music, here's a thing about music that uh, possibly you knew, music is actually fun. Uh, the reason humans bother with all this music stuff is that they actually like it, and that playing instruments can be you know, yeah, enjoyable. Oh yes, it shouldn't actually feel like a chore, it should feel fun. Now if you want people as adults to be good with various instruments, then the way to do this, surely, is to get them interested as kids and make it fun so that the kids master the instruments, they, they work out how to play all the various notes and they can play those notes cleanly and fluidly and so forth and they can have fun together and then maybe later you might add on some other skills like uh, sight reading, for instance. Unfortunately, and I had a lot of instrument teachers as a kid, 100% of my instrument teachers focused 100% of the time on the single skill of sight reading. That was the only thing they seemed to feel that they were teaching me. From lesson one, it was all about sight reading. So, I would sit down with my clarinet teacher for the very first time and the first, the, put down the instrument. Now then, this is a semi-breathe, this is a crotchet, and this is a rest, and okay, right, yeah, but the clarinet, yeah, right. Uh, and the things that they would get me to play were utterly joyless. I mean, just clearly, deliberately designed to be joyless and tuneless. You weren't supposed to cheat and use musicality or sense of rhythm or anything like that to predict what you were supposed to play. Oh no, it had to be completely unpredictable. I remember, for instance, one of the first things that I had to play with my clarinet just had two notes and lots and lots and lots of rests, but the rests were all of different lengths and in different patterns. So. Uh, the uh, the piece, when played correctly, went something like Totally unpredictable, totally tuneless, but a really good exercise in can you distinguish between the lengths of all these various different notes and rests? joyless, completely joyless, and the lessons were amazingly boring. Hey, it's a music lesson, get to play an instrument, hey, let's have fun. No, none of that. They were really boring lessons. And then I would be given some practicing to do before the next lesson that was always even more boring again. And do you know what? I didn't always do it, and should that surprise anyone? It didn't seem to surprise my uh, teachers uh, very much that I appeared not to have done my practicing, because why would you? Why would any little kid who could run outside and play football or read a comic or watch television or do almost anything that would be more enjoyable and almost anything would be than these incredibly boring, soul-crushing, joy-killing exercises? 
It's not about sight reading, okay? In, in, th most people throughout history have not sight read. Folk musicians, jazz musicians, this, this, you could say that jazz is a form of folk, I suppose. Um, uh, yeah, folk musicians from around the world, they learned how to diddly bubbly diddly baddly dum di 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 dum diddly and they got little stuff, oh, how's that tune going? Oh, yeah, that part. They, they'd learn little tricks off each other and then they would enjoy playing together in a band. You, you set something up. Now, occasionally, uh, my father would uh, would say something like, "Oh, I tell you what, I'll I'll play the uh, the bass line. I'll go do 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 like that, and you you hit anything up that end of the keyboard. Oh, but not that note, that note, or that note. But uh, yep, yeah, anything else, and you'll be fine." So he would go, "I do 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 and I go, "And you do do Oh, it works. And it was fun. But unfortunately, I got the impression that my father felt that he should do the right thing and send me to a proper music teacher, you know, someone who was qualified or something. Um, so the, hey, this is actually fun uh, school and, and approach of getting me to learn music. Uh, I, it was not something that, that I encountered, uh, not, not amongst the professionals anyway. Um, instead, I, teacher after teacher after teacher absolutely crushed any joy that I might have got from playing an instrument from lesson one. Uh, I remember um, one of my piano teachers, uh, the homework she gave me was drawing treble clefs. I had to draw, I can't remember how many of them, a lot of treble clefs because, you know, to be able to draw a treble clef really well, that's important for a five-year-old. Is it? Really? I can't remember how exactly how, how old I was, but I was young. For a little kid, it's not important. In fact, you know what? Uh, you know, even if you're 56 and you're one of the top composers in the world, if your treble clefs are a little bit wonky, I really don't think anybody is going to care. It's other notes good. Now, of course, once you've mastered your instrument, then in the modern world, if you want to play in a serious orchestra playing classical music, then you're going to have to learn how to sight read. Yeah, I get that. It's a useful skill, but add it on top of the mastery of an instrument. If you some, if someone can can go up and down the scale, scales for instance, another very useful exercise. Yeah, okay, stick the occasional scale in, but don't make it all about scales. Um, if you can go up and down your instrument really fluidly and play really, really sweet notes and so forth, and then you learn some sight reading and, and then you can play in an orchestra and take it further if you want to be professional, which most people don't. What do we want? Do we want, uh, is there a tremendous shortage of orchestras? I don't know that there is, but don't we want as many people as possible to be happy? I think we, we probably do. And if music makes people happy, then wouldn't it be good that loads and loads of people could play music together with instruments live? Wouldn't they enjoy that? So why don't most people play an instrument really well? Well, because I put it to you, so many of them have had the joy of music knocked out of them when they were young. Um, joy of creating music, that is. But um, we haven't knocked out the joy of listening to music. People still instinctively, it seems, most really like music. Make it fun! Did <laughs> you